Hello there Year 7, welcome to the second instructional video for the Independent Humanities Homework Project. We're still on Year 7, the local theme, and Step 2 is a Venn diagram to identify the similarities and differences between the three religions that you researched in Step 1. So what we're hoping is that you now, from the document that you produced in Step 1, have a far clearer and deeper understanding of the three main religions that we asked you to research. And what we're going to do is identify the similarities and differences between these three main religions by creating a Venn diagram. Now a Venn diagram is a series of more than one circle that overlap. And the things that are the same between the two things, or three things, go in the areas of the circles that overlap each other. And the things that are different go in the areas of the circle that don't overlap. So, to help you visualise what I'm trying to explain, here is a circle for each of the three religions that you researched, Christianity, Judaism and Islam. In this area, where Christianity and Judaism overlap, that's where you would bullet point anything that is the same between the Jews and the Christians. In this area where Christianity and Islam overlap, this is where you would bullet point anything that is the same between Christians and Muslims. In this area that overlaps between Judaism and Islam, this is where you would bullet point similarities between Jews and Muslims. And if there's anything the same between all three of these religions, you would bullet point it here in the middle. You're going to need to draw this diagram really nice and large so that you have enough space to actually put the bullet points into the sections that you want to include. These larger areas of the circle are where you would bullet point and summarise information that is specific only to Christianity, only to Islam and only to Judaism. You might want to use an A4 blank piece of paper to draw this out so that you can then fold it and stick it into your book. If you're working on the A5 smaller humanities books that might be a good idea. Even if you maybe have A3 paper at home or your teacher might give you some A3 paper to make sure you've got plenty of space. Take your time to draw these circles nice and large please. We want it neat and tidy. Don't panic though if it's not a perfect circle. You could always perhaps use something circular to draw around, maybe a large roll of sellotape or something similar. As usual, you will have two weeks to complete this stage. So check with your teacher the due date that they would like this completed by and write it into your planners. And once you have completed this, please make sure that it is in the back of your book, the same as we have done for the stage one research page, this will then get stuck in or created in the back of your book next to that research. And on the due date, you will self-assess and peer assess each other's work when you are back in class. So same as the end of the stage one video. If you have any questions, drop me an email at gleasona at or see any one of your teachers at any time.